Hi, thanks for clicking on my video. I am Beth Ann of Beth Ann Stamps. And this week, we are looking at the paper pumpkin from October of 2022 called Ho Ho Ho. This is such a cute paper pumpkin. I always love their Christmas ones. These are the cards and the cute matching envelopes that can be made with this kit. Let me find the next one. Pretty um, blue envelopes. And then the last one with the Santa. Comes with all the die cuts, everything you need to make this set. And it comes with a really cute stamp set. I'll just put this here because today we're gonna really be looking at alternatives. And we're going to be using this stamp set to create some cards. I just love this. is To me, it feels like a bigger stamp set than we usually get. And I love the Santa Claus and the sentiments, all of it. Right? So let's take a look at a couple of alternatives I did. We're going to start, first of all, with a very simple, basic card. So... This card, I really like the sleigh and the reindeer, and so I wanted to create another card. As you can see in this one, it's pretty basic. They give you, I think this is a Bermuda Bay background, and you stamp that on and put a frame around it. I decided to create my own background. So for this one, I'm starting my card base as a top folding card that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And remember, all these dimensions will be in the coordinating blog linked below if you don't catch them as we're going through. The inside, I've already put my five and a quarter by four inch piece of basic white. Santa Claus is coming to down with a couple snowflakes. To create the front of my card, I'm actually going to start with a balmy blue. And then I'm bringing in balmy blue and starry sky with a blending brush to build this background and give it some color. So I'm gonna start with the balmy blue, we'll load up our brush, and then just start putting some of this on here. Realized I don't think I have a light on. I'm gonna add some more light here. Get rid of the shadow. All right. Whoop, I should have I'm gonna flip this over because I forgot to stamp up tap off a little before I come in and start blending. I wanted to blend on the balmy blue itself because I think it gives it a really distinct look when you blend on colored card stock. I just want a little bit at the bottom and as I go higher to get that a little darker. So I'm going to turn it over. And I'll just keep blending and blending. So we're just gonna do this quickly. Now I'm gonna bring in some starry sky. I sort of like that malted look at back and that will change as it dries and evens out a little more. Okay. So let's show you a sample of this background. Now I wanted my sleigh and my reindeer to really stand out. So the next thing I did was I brought it into my Stamparatus, lined it up, and then using Early Espresso, which is the ink that comes in the kit this month. I really like how they coordinated that early espresso. A baby white. Clean that off. And the reason I'm using the Stamparatus is because I am stamping on top of all of those other colors that I blended. And I really want that image to stand out. So the Stamparatus is allowing me to stamp multiple times and get that really nice dark. There we go. 
So it gets that really nice crisp image. Now, the next thing I would do is I would set this aside and let this dry because then I want to use Versamark ink and some white embossing powder to stamp the stars and the snowflakes out of that stamp set and then heat set those. But because this really does need to dry, we'll just pretend we already did that. So here is my piece. I also, <laughs> I wanted Rudolph leading my sleigh. So I did pull in the little red gems. So this is a three and a quarter by five. And I am going to mount this onto a piece of basic white that is just an eighth of an inch bigger. So it's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So we are just going to center that. And then I thought this card needed a ribbon because I left it very plain with just the sky and the snowflakes and stars in the back. I wanted to add some ribbon before I put this down. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive here, pull out. This is the um, Early Espresso ribbon that's in the main catalog. So I'm just going to wrap that around here towards the bottom. Trim this. Make sure that's on there straight. And then I'm going to adhere this to my card base. Again, that card base is Early Espresso. I like brown and blues together. So this is very basic. It's just the night sky. Now, for this one, I used the Ho 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 stamp out of the paper pumpkin stamps and then I cut that out, fussy cut it out around. But this time I used the uh, double oval punches that fit perfectly. So you can do it either way. You can either cut that out or you can punch it out. All those little label punches are so great. So I'm just gonna put this here. And then I do have a bow. So I swore I just saw the bow. Here it is, again, tied with that Early Espresso ribbon. Let me come in here and pick up a, a glue dot on my ribbon. And I'm gonna put that right down there. And there we go, a cute card. You will see now that the other card is very similar. I just took it another level up. So this time I did the sky, but I put some trees in and added a moon. And then with my labels, I'm still sticking with that early espresso um, ink. I really love how this brown and blues go together. I did add some green in here on the inside at Santa Claus is coming to town. Merry Christmas. So let's take a look at this one. We'll bring in my supplies here. Again, top folding four and a quarter by 11. Inside is Santa Claus is coming to town with that little star. And I just stamped the Santa stamp and then colored in with the um, cherry cobbler blends is what I used on those and a little bit of pink for his face. All right, so my layer that we're going to work with today is basic white, and I've pre-done this. I'm hoping that you can see this. I went ahead and added the Versamark and Heat set in some white ink or white embossing powder, and I did some snowflakes and stars on this one also. And then I have a piece of masking here that I cut a circle off. That's probably about one or one and a quarter inches. We're going to do the same thing again using the exact same inks. We're gonna do some blending. I'm going to start with that balmy blue. And we're just going to 
blend. And you know what? I want to do one thing before I do this. Let me stop here for a second. I apologize. This one, I wanted him flying over some trees. So I'm going to bring in my, my piercing mat since these are photopolymer stamps. And I brought in the trees for sale from the holiday catalog. And we are going to stamp some trees along the bottom here in this two-step. And I am using pear pizzazz for the background color and I'm going to stamp one here and then I'm going to stamp a smaller one and then I'm going to stamp a large one again and then on top of that for the added detail of the trees I'm using evening evergreen. So we have the bigger stamp that adds the details. Do this one over here. Doesn't that add beautiful texture to those trees? All right, so now we have our trees. We can go back to the blending. I just wanted those trees in first because I do want to bring that color down between those trees. Doesn't have to be a lot down there, but I did want some color added. A little bit more balmy blue. Get around our, our moon there. I'm going to bring in again that starry sky, still sticking with those same colors. I'm gonna get around that moon. Now, because I did heat set this beforehand, so let me just grab back that balmy blue to blend here at the bottom so it's not such a harsh line. There we go. Now, every time you blend a card, it comes out different. This one's going to be a little darker than my first one. And that's okay. They are all a little different. All beautiful. Let me get down here on the bottom a little. Don't want that white coming through except for where my moon is. Now, I am just going to bring in a, a cloth here. Anytime I'm working with embossing powder to clean it up off my desk where it spills, I use a swifter rag. And I'm also going to bring that in now and wipe this because that embossing powder will resist any ink. So when you rub that off, those snowflakes and stars come back through. Where, so this one I did before and then blended. This one I blended and added them after. There we go. And we reveal our moon. So I am again going to bring in the Stamparatus. Now with this one, when I did it, I really wasn't being real careful where I placed my stars and snowflakes. So I'm going to clean off my stamped image, make sure it's dry down here and dry it off and the reason I want to do that is I may not necessarily want to put this in the exact same place as the other one because I want my deer to be above these stars because those stars are going to resist that ink so if I stamp it here you'll see I'm going to miss some of the deer so I could put it below okay it could go right there or I could move it up I think I'm going to move it up Put him a little higher in the sky so he's right above those stars. So now when I look, there he goes, right over that arc. So now we'll bring in that early espresso. Oh, well that was not in the plan, was it? And 
and again we want that to really show up on top of that ink I'm gonna put some good pressure on there and there we go I think that's a good solid image we want it to dry oh, I love it so I'm gonna bring in another layer. This is the same dimensions as the other card. So it's three and three quarters by five. And then this pear pizzazz layer is an eighth of an inch bigger. So three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we'll put that on there. I'm just gonna turn this upside down for a minute. Oh, I love it. All right, so we are going to place this on our background. I did not put any ribbon on this one. We had those trees on the bottom and I did not want to cover those up. And then I stamped the Christmas and so I am just going to cut this one out. Boy, when they're rectangular like this with that solid background, they certainly make those easy to fussy cut out, don't they? There we go. And then I did the same thing. I tie or stamped Mary from the Paper Pumpkin stamp set. In that early espresso, I am going to pop this up with dimensionals. Take this off. And then on this one, I want it to just sort of rest on the top of that. So I am gonna take some of these mini dimensionals. I've cut them in half. I'm gonna make sure I'm putting them along the bottom here. Just little tiny pieces. Gotta cut another one in half. And we'll put it over here. And then I'm gonna put some glue along the top because it's gonna sit right on the bottom of that Mary. And then again, the inside has Santa is coming to town. And personal preference, if Rudolph is <laughs> leading your sleigh, then you can take the red gem rhinestones and you can put a little red dot on his nose. So pretty simple. Well and really it's the same card just stepped up so this is basic I love it I think it's great there's nothing wrong with this card and then the next one we just took it up a level and we added some trees and a moon when I a lot of times when I'm working on my cards I will send a picture of them to a friend and say hey what do you think and I sent this one to my friend Kathy yesterday and she goes, wouldn't it look great with some trees or buildings under it? So she's responsible for the stepped up version. So thank you, Kathy. But I do, I like either one. I think anybody would be grateful to receive one of these cards. They will go in my Christmas stash to be mailed out, I guess later this month, right? I usually sit down Thanksgiving weekend and fill out my Christmas cards. So. I hope you like these. They are an alternative for you to consider with, along with the paper pumpkin kit. Just add some early espresso, um, balmy blue, and some pear pizzazz paper, and there you go. I, I know that I will be using this stamp set from this paper pumpkin a lot in the future. I really, really like it. So as always, I really appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my videos. I would greatly appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up. 
hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get a notification when my videos go live. Um, I went over 300. That is so exciting for me. I would really like um, to continue to grow and I can only do that with your continued support. So thank you very much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.